Today we're talking about grassy weed control, particularly pre-emergent herbicides. Um, there is a lot of marketing towards crabgrass, a ton of it. I'm going to give you strategies that I've used on golf courses when I manage them. Uh, I use the same one for year. Well, I've seen different ones, but I have used the same methodology for years. And I'm going to tell you what that's going to be here in a minute. Um, I'm going to go a little bit more into the some of the things I didn't cover in my 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 pre-emergent video, which will be here at the end. I'll also leave my grub control video if you guys want to check it out. You get those two, you'll get two biggest pains in the keister for summer um, on your yard. So it is June, and like I said, if you like. Oh, pardon me, if you subscribe and hit the bell, I will give you videos that are a timely fashion of things that you need to be aware of and probably something you need to be thinking of or something you need to be doing. So that's why I say subscribe and hit the bell. Here we are in June. I'm talking about pre-emergent herbicides. And yes, it is probably a good idea, particularly if you put out a pre-emergent herbicide in March, you put out another one now. Um, there is frequently, people get the notion that one post-emergent, pardon me, pre-emergent herbicide application in the spring is going to carry through the year. It's probably not. Unless you enter an extremely high rate and even then it gets sketchy in the late part of August. So, let's talk about program for just a second. Here's what I used on golf courses. This, I actually showed this in, I think I showed this in the previous video. Um, this is a protamine product, barricade, protamine product. That is the active ingredient, it's protamine. It's one of the things I use in my videos, I tell you the active ingredients so you can go out and shop around so you know what actually you're getting. This is a barricade product. I'm going to talk about temperature, application, how long this stuff lasts and everything here. They came out with years ago um, a guarantee that if you put out barricade in, I think it was right before Thanksgiving, they guaranteed you a weed-free yard, or actually golf course at the time for me, the next summer. You might think, how that world did they, could they say that? Pre-emergent herbicides break down based on biological activity. For every 10 degrees of increase in temperature, biological activity doubles. So what they get now, you might think. If I put this out prior to Thanksgiving, my soil temperatures are very low and they're going to get lower throughout the winter. You guys way down south, a little different, but most of you above, I would say Atlanta, Georgia, probably in this, in fact, I think they had it regionalized. They had a line going across the country and they said, everything above this line, if you put it out, we guarantee you no weeds next year. The reason being is it's not going to break down during the winter. So you guys that are fretting about putting out a pre-emergent herbicide in the spring, particularly you guys, I'd say above Atlanta, um, you get in the coastal plain of North Carolina, South Carolina. I live in Raleigh, so I understand it gets hot in the blazes, stays hot in the blazes down there. But majority of you folks are going to be in pretty good shape if you put out your spring application of pre-emergent around Thanksgiving. And you might find it on big time sale because they're wanting to get it out of Lowe's because they're bringing all the Christmas crap in. Of course, they're damn near putting that in Labor Day now. So anyway, <laughs> so that's not a bad move. Then here we are in June, put out your second application of pre-emergent herbicide. The reason being is, yeah, they had that guarantee, but that, that was at a pretty high rate. And... I always did a medium rate in for the spring during the late fall, early winter, sometimes very early spring, usually around February, because I was managing Bermuda grasses down in North Carolina, and I would put out glyphosate. I know cool season grass guys just fell off their chair, but you can actually do that at the dormant Bermuda, and a barricade on it at the same time, and seal me up. I go out with dimension, in now I don't see any weeds on Bermuda grass. Maintain a half inch in Raleigh, North Carolina. Not a problem. So now you could be putting out a pre-emergent herbicide. You can go ahead and go with Protamine product. That's fine. I like Dimension, which is a Diclopyr product. Now this is not really practical for homeowners. And the reason being is it's a half gallon. It goes out at maximum 0.73 ounces per thousand. I'll give you the relevance of that here in a second. But you can go with a sprayable, put in couple ounces surfa or half ounce surfactant per gallon. Follow the label, but I'm pretty sure that's right. 
And you can get post-emergent activity, post-emergent activity on crabgrass, which here we are, that's a three-tiller. Actually, it's a four-tiller, isn't it? It's maybe three-tiller. Anyway, that'll whack that crabgrass. That's baby crabgrass, okay? Um, and that will take a lot of the, uh, th that will control early, early crabgrass and take a lot of the guesswork when you need to put it out your pre-emergent herbicide. Um, also, for those of you cool season grass guys, if you're wanting to seed in the spring, you obviously can't do that late fall application. You can't do the spring application because you're, you're, you're seeding in the spring, which is fine. But providing that it's mature, generally they say mowed twice. I'm going to say probably six weeks after germination. After You can go out with the dimension product, read the label, but then you can go out with the dimension product because you hadn't put out any pre-emergent herbicides. Or you can also hit with a mesotrone product that I talked about and then follow up with a dimension product or something. And anyway, that can actually take care of your crabgrass if you did not put out something earlier for those of you. Okay, you follow that? So I like the dimension product now because you have post-emergent activity. Uh, and you can get that out of uh, granular application or foliar application. The only problem with the post-emergent act post-emergent rate is it's a high rate and they say on this label, and I think most of them do, you cannot seed for four months after you go to high rate. That's something else to consider. Because if you're seeding in the spring, you put it out mid-June, mid-July, mid-August, mid-September, mid-October, you're not seeding until mid-October. Most of you down south, that's not a big deal. Here in the mid-Atlantic region, that gets a little sketchy. So um, just go out a lower rate. I, I like this. If you're mowing your grass real high, you could probably go at that middle rate particularly cool season grass folks, you can go at that middle rate, you'll be fine. Providing you're doing a good split application, or at least you do your June application, that's going to save you a boatload of crabgrass problems in the summer. And then you should be able to follow up late September. That's about a good time to do it because soil temperatures are still up. You're starting to get a great deal of dew. You're not having to really struggle with watering that much. And you can go ahead and overseed your yard if you want to for your cool season grass folks. Now, you warm season grass folks. For dimension you can put out at that high rate and then turn around and overseed with ryegrass in the fall i think it's six to eight weeks after a high rate application um so that's and they say on the label you may have some ryegrass damage um we did overseed at the noose golf club when i was down this was in where the heck it's not it's not carry <laughs> anyway it's outside of raleigh it was a super assistant superintendent news golf club down there for a while anyway um so we oversee with rye grass and you'll be fine six to eight weeks according to the label so if you put it out in june six to eight weeks by the middle of august you're good to go and that's a little early to go out with overseeding but nevertheless i'm just letting you guys know that now um you cannot put out, you got to watch your high rates, you cool season, or warm season grass guys, you want season long control. Now that gets into the spectacle flow. Talked about that in my um, pre-emergent herbicide video. That's not going to be practical for you cool season grass folks. Warm season grass guys, you're not seeding. I'm just letting, giving the cool season grass guys a heads up. They're not seeding anything. They can vegetatively fill back in. They don't have to seed. That's why they need long-term control and you guys need short-term control. So anyway, but you can go out with spectacle flow, but it's very expensive. The nice thing about spectacle flow is that it is, I think it's a group, it's a group 29 herbicide. Talk about this in the herbicide video about weed resistance. Uh, most all these, probidine, the diclopyr product, uh, HALT is, um, daggone, is a uh, pendomethalin. Yes, pendomethalin is HALT, pretty sure. Um, all those are group three. Uh, herbicides and they have the same mode of action and you can get weed resistance to pre-emergent herbicides. So it's nice to throw something else in there, the mesotone product, some type of post-emergent herbicide if you're starting to get weeds. Um, there, and there's, also, there's quinaclorac too. I will say about quinaclorac, which is drive, and you, if you look, quinaclorac, <laughs> if you guys and I might leave a couple of Hosen applicators, use Hosen folks down below. If you look at a quinaclorac product, we're talking post-emergent here, real quick. Quinaclorac works fine now in June. 
once when crabgrass gets mature, I'm talking <laughs> beyond teenager, from teenager to about beyond its midlife crisis, about 55 years old, I'm you know, speaking teleologically. Anyway, we sometimes do that about grass. Teleologically is something they told me in college. You actually give human characteristics to, 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 a, to a plant. Anyway, wind's blowing my stuff around. So anyway, middle-aged crabgrass, it will not control it. Quinacorac will do early and probably before the 4th of July for most folks, and it will do after August 15th. If you put a Quinacorac product on anything in July to about August 15th, it ain't going to work. And there's no sense in, and it, it's a very safe herbicide. The Mesotrone product is also a safe herbicide. I've got a video on Mesotrone. I could leave that. I could leave the grub pre-emergent and Mesotrone product. Cool season grass hooks. Um, the quinacorac is not going to work in July. And guys will use it in June and swear up and down it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. And then a guy will take the advice and go out in July and go, this ain't working with a flip. That's why. It will not work very well on post on mature crabgrass. Most post-emergent herbicides will not work on mature crabgrass. So that's why it's so critical to use a pre-emergent herbicide. So anyway, so... Um, Let's see, I'm trying to look at my notes here. That's pretty much it. I'm going to go over this real quick. Do a, if you're not going to seed in the spring, cool season grass folks, do your post pre emergent herbicide sometime late fall, early winter. Follow up in June with another pre emergent herbicide application. If you're not going to seed in the spring, Sometimes you lose grass and now you got a seed in the spring. So that's why I only use the low rate. But if you have not put out a pre-emergent herbicide, you can put out a high rate of diclopyr product and it will do have some post-emergent activity on young crabgrass. You can do that in June. I encourage you to go out at least a middle to low rate cool season grass guys in June. Warm season grass guys, you can go ahead and go out that high rate Get your post-emergent activity, and you'll be good to go in June. Uh, then the cycle be, the cycle continues because a good application for talking warm warm season grass, a good application in June should carry you into that October. Unless you are really dialing it in and you're cutting your grass at a half inch, and even then, I, I maintain fairways at a half inch. Uh, you should be good to go. You can always use um, clinic, you know, you, uh, you can use post-emergent activity, some type like Celsius or something like that late in the fall or something like that if you really have, but you shouldn't have that much crabgrass going into October and then if you hit it again with a protamine product and just keep Celsius or something like that in your hip pocket uh, for a post-emergent, if you get any weed resistance, you should be good to go. If you want to use a spectral flow of warm season grass, guys, go ahead. But, you know, there's it's so expensive. Some guys are splitting them with the neighbors and everything else, and it's kind of crazy. It is good stuff. It is a different group herbicide. You're not, And if you use a group 3, there's not a whole lot of resistance to spectral flow right now because it's a group 29. That eventually someday will happen. You can actually go out, maybe one application of spectral flow, and then go out with another pre-emergent herbicide like like Dimension, and that will probably cover you for the year. I think spectral flow, if you go at high rate, it'll cover you for 12 months. Read the label on these. So, that's for warm season grass. Cool season grass, fall, June, good to go. And you should be fine. So anyway, trying to give you a heads up. Um... A little bit about me. I'm a 94 graduate of North Carolina State University. I've been in golf course maintenance and construction for over 30 years. I've also done some sports fields work. So anyway, um, like and subscribe. I try to keep my videos very current. This one's a pre-emergent herbicide video. Um, be sure to water this stuff in half inch. I think I said that, but I didn't. As soon as you put it out, the Dimension product, by the way, it needs to be on the leaf blade for six hours before you water it in if you're going post-emergent. Um, and that's if you spray it, but I doubt very few of you will probably spray it. You'll use the granular and follow the label on that, on that granular product. So anyway, giving you a heads up, pre-emergent herbicide in June. That'll get you through at least till October, and you should be good to go. I'm agronomist Greg Phillips. Thanks for watching.